Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Zihuatanejo in Mexico. And I just want to talk to you about rock bottom. And you know, JK Rowling said something that just really struck me. She said, rock bottom became the solid foundation on which I built the rest of my life. And you know, when I hit uh, rock bottom a few years ago with CFS, uh, I was in bed most of the day. I could hardly speak a word to my kids. I actually had to use sign language to talk to them. Uh, days turned into weeks that turned into months and where I was isolated and the life that I had known was virtually gone. And you know, that was a really hard place to be. And it kind of felt like someone had taken a demolition uh, equipment and just bulldozed my whole life. So if you've got CFS, you can probably relate to this. And I just want to uh, encourage you to realize that once everything's been knocked down and you're just sitting there with what feels like a pile of rocks, that that's ground zero and that's a place to begin to build again and it's kind of an extraordinary uh, opportunity if we can see it in that way that it's time to take those rocks that are left and begin to build a solid foundation for where we want the rest of our lives to go the things that contributed to my foundation and I just wanted to share with you four stones that I use to begin to build a solid foundation for the rest of my life and the first one was a strong spirit. And you know, when your body is broken and it's not doing what you want it to, it's so important to build your spirit during that time because ultimately that's going to impact your body. So I've done a few videos on that that I hope you'll check out about building a strong spirit because we want to feed our spirit, exercise our spirit, and rest our spirit. And the second stone for me in my foundation uh, has been self-care and you know as a wife and a mom I was really used to taking care of everyone else and so having CFS was a real challenge for me to learn how to take care of myself with a chronic illness because though my family wanted to support me they didn't know what I needed and so I was really the only one that could figure that out and give that to myself and so self-care included things like good nutrition learning about getting good sleep um, routine, structure, movement, which turned into some exercise. And you know, a lot of the things that I've learned in the programs that you'll find listed in my resources, which I am not connected to professionally, they've helped me so much. You know, self-care also includes emotional self-care. So that means being able to learn how to ask for emotional support when I need it and finding out what I do need and then giving it to myself. And then the third stone that has really been on my foundation is recalibrated relationships. Because I found that a lot of my relationships were not reciprocal. And so what I needed to do was, okay, first off is, you know, CFS clears those relationships out, but get, begin to learn healthy patterns so that any new relationships or my existing ones that I still had, I could, have appropriate boundaries and I could also have reciprocity in a very strong way. So the fourth stone that's been a real blessing for me is a new vision for my life. You know, it's been seven years since I got the illness and I'm still in recovery, but you know, life is moving forward for me again. And so it was really important for me because I'm at a new place in life and also I've learned a lot through this illness. You know, I was always driving myself before the illness, and I don't want to live like that anymore. I want to enjoy my life. I want to take time to enjoy the moments, and I also want to do what I love. So that's a commitment. Those are commitments that I've made for the new life ahead of me that I'm getting a vision for. So it's not just about what I'll be doing as I come out of the illness, but it's about a new way of approaching life. So those are my four stones in my foundation strong spirit, self-care, recalibrated relationships, and a new vision for the future. And I hope that'll just give you some ideas that if you feel that you're at rock bottom, begin to take a look around and think, what can I do with these rocks? And what kind of foundation can I build for the future? So remember, warriors, life is not over. It's starting again. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're at rock bottom, what are some of the 
rocks that you want to focus on right now? What do you need to do to build your foundation? If you're in recovery and you can use some more encouragement, be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know. And it also helps it reach more people that could use some encouragement that might be in some dark places. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>